What's going on YouTube? It's Ben, and I wanted to tell you why being myself is my greatest asset. What's up guys? My name is Ben Nader. I'm an entrepreneur. I run a recruiting agency. I vlog daily about entrepreneurship, business, and leveling up. And if you like that kind of stuff, you should definitely please smash that red subscribe button. So today I wanted to talk about a topic I think a lot of people need to hear. When I started being exactly who I truly am is when I met success. Now let me explain because I think this is something that will help a lot of you. So check it out. In a past life, years ago, I used to care a whole bunch about what people thought about me, who I was to them, all sorts of crazy minded things. That was all until I realized none of that mattered. The process would go like this. I would have any type of interaction. I would talk to someone or I would interact some way and the internal dialogue that would follow would just be a replay of that conversation or interaction. And I would think, how did I do in that social scenario? What did I come across like? How do they judge me? What do they think of? And I kept replaying that over and over and over. Honestly, how crazy is that? Actually, it's not crazy at all because about 90% of you do it. I would rerun conversations in my head 10 times, 20 times, over and over, OCD about what I looked like, how I came across, whatever you can think of, a billion different things, you name it, I thought about it. All of these insane, useless thoughts that ran through my brain endlessly eventually led to anxiety, partial depression, and eventually undervaluing myself. Now why, why was this happening? because I wasn't being who I am. Now let's fast forward to a few years ago where I finally got woke and realized everything that I was thinking was wrong. I realized that every single thought, action, movement, whatever it was, was completely dictated by everyone else around me that I couldn't care less about. Now what happened to me next is the craziest part and mainly because it happened like clockwork. Now just like that, on a completely random day, I woke up and decided to be genuinely and unapologetically me. Like, I mean every single part and piece of me that I truly am. Boom, I started losing my anxiety. Boom, I wasn't depressed about basically anything. Boom, my confidence came back. I shifted my entire perspective on everything that I was thinking previously to just being myself, knowing myself, and unapologetically just giving my true self to the world. I pretty much realized that nothing else mattered other than who I am and what I do, and everyone else around me can react to it however they want to. Now let me get to the best part of all of this. After I made what I consider to be a quantum shift in my perspective, I decided to eventually start doing the things I really wanted to do, without hesitation whatsoever. For example, this is when I started my recruiting agency and I basically smashed six figures in six months. Like, who does that? How does that happen? Next up, I started this YouTube channel, something I never thought I'd do. I didn't hesitate one bit by being my true self on posting my first video here. And I went all in, as you can see today. Then I started my brand, Six Figure Recruiter. I started a mentorship program. I do all of the things that you see now today. I say that you see all of these things today, but you don't know the backstory to what I've gone through and what I've been through years and years ago. But I know that so many of you guys watching this right now are exactly where I was four years ago. So once I started scaling my business and documenting pretty much everything on YouTube, like you see all the time, people started messaging me and telling me how genuine and real my content was. Now, I respond to every single one of those types of messages because I have so much gratitude for people recognizing that because I have so much gratitude that I eventually came out to be my full, real, true self. 
What makes it even better for me is just being who I am boosts my self-confidence and it increases my desire to truly engage with my audience because I'm just being who I am and that's exactly who I am. I absolutely love networking with people from the channel or from my Facebook group or from anywhere and that's just truly who I am. Listen, in the long run, not being who you are, not being your true genuine self is not sustainable. I mean, you just can't live your entire life out being someone else or pretending or not letting your true genuine self out. Not only that, but after I made this shift of being my true self, being genuine, being who I am, I realized that I have so much more to offer to the world and people are attracted to the true you. People don't want some watered down version of who you think you are or what you think you can present yourself as. They want you. People are truly attracted to the genuine you that you really are. So if you're watching this video and you know that you're not being your true self, you know you're not being genuinely who you are, I have two pieces of advice for you. You're doing absolutely nothing good for yourself by hiding from the world. The second piece of advice I have to offer is that by hiding from the world, you're depriving the world from what you have to offer. Listen, there's only one me, there's only one you. Be that person, be yourself, be who you are, and watch what happens. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and the alert button so you know every single time I come out with a new video, and until then.